Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rujan. In this video, we'll see how to install Wi-Fi module and cooling fan on Jetson Nano. Also, it's important to know some basics about this module. So let's get started. Jetson is a single board computer from NVIDIA used for AI based projects. It has a pretty good uh, computing power. So nowadays, all these computers need internet, maybe a wireless connectivity or through wire that is LAN. So NVIDIA Jetson Nano, which we are going to see today is a developer kit of B01 version. This does not have Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth feature, but it has an Ethernet option, which is not feasible for my application. So there are few ways to connect Jetson Nano to internet wirelessly. The first option is using the wireless adapter as you can see over here, so which is a plug and play device. And uh, I've also mentioned the link for this product in the description below. And the second option is which we are going to see uh, in this video. Jetson Nano has M2 key e slot option which enables us to insert a Wi-Fi card. The most supported and the tested Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth card is from Intel model number AC8265. It's a dual antenna module. And also we'll see the installation of the cooling fan as a Jetson Nano during the processing of the data it gets really hot. So let's start with the assembling. To assemble this Wi-Fi module and cooling fan, we would require screwdriver. This is the module which I was talking about, uh, Intel AC8265, which has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which can deliver up to speed of 850 megabits per second and has a Bluetooth of 4.2. The antenna cable, which is connected to the board, has IPEX connector. This is the M2 key slot I was talking about, which is an interface uh, connects to the motherboard. And the other side of the antenna is uh, the SMA cable, SMA type of connector I can say, which connects to the antenna. This is a non-PWM cooling fan which runs at a constant speed. But there's another type of uh, fan also which has PWM where the speed is controlled by the motherboard. So as you can see there is one latch over here and another latch which is holding the module, the Jetson Nano module. So we will have to pull that out so that uh, you will free the Jetson Nano module. There are two screws which are holding the module. Those are Philips screws. You will have to remove those. So once you have removed both the screws, you can just pull the latch slightly outside so that you can see the module just pops up. The black uh, one what you see is the heatsink. And seeing at the bottom, you can see that is the SD card slot wherein you install the packages. Now you can very smoothly pull the module out. This is the M2 key slot which we were talking about wherein we install the Wi-Fi module. This is actually rotatable, you can just adjust it. You have to insert this module slantly into the slot as you can see over here. So now you can just take the screw and press the module and you can just screw the module to the motherboard. So now you can install the module back into the motherboard that is uh, you can just slantly insert it to the slot and then you can just press it so that it locks in the latch. Then you need to just install the screws then you are done installing with Wi-Fi module. So now it's time to install the fan for the heatsink. So now this thing has to be the bottom and this has to be on the top like this. Now you just have to plug that to the board. So 
So now it's time to connect the Jetson Nano to the computer and check whether the Wi-Fi is working. But uh, you can see the fan is already running. So here you can see uh, it is already connected to the Wi-Fi. I just uh, used the Wi-Fi password and I connected it. And uh, you can also see a Bluetooth symbol also next to it. Yeah, even the Bluetooth is functioning. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful. And link to the components uh, used in this video like Jetson Nano, Wi-Fi module and also the fan I have mentioned in the description below. And uh, for more projects and more uh, uh, electronics related topics, check out my blog www.tastytechharbor.com. Thank you again. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.